Okay, so that means another episode of Coffin and Elix. Today, we're gonna to be discussing how to send a voice call with Twilio and with Python. The first thing that you wanna do is sign up for a Twilio account if you have not done so already. Part of the process of creating a Twilio account in the sandbox is verifying your phone number, which you'll use to test with, and also answering a couple of questions on this screen. Uh, for instance, which Twilio product are we gonna use? We're gonna click voice. What do we wanna build with Twilio? Uh, we'll call alerts and notifications. And how do we want to build with Twilio? We'll click on this with code in order to customize exactly what we want. And what is your preferred coding language? We're gonna click Python. And would you like Twilio to host our code? Yes. Now that we have our test account set up in the sandbox, the next thing that we wanna do is get a trial phone number. So I'm gonna click on this button here under step one, get a trial phone number. That took about 10 seconds and we can see that our new Twilio phone number is right down here. Next, we're gonna move into the Twilio documentation section. Once we're in the Twilio docs, we wanna make sure that we're in the programmable voice section and the making calls subsection. Over here, I've already selected the programming language that I wanna write my code in, Python, and I'm going to copy and paste the snippet of code here. I'm gonna go into my IDE and I'm gonna paste this snippet of code. If you saw my last video on SMS or text messages, you'll recognize that this looks pretty similar to what we did last time. However, one of the big differences is in our client section here, we have a URL instead of a body. The body was the text string that we wanted to send out via text message whereas this URL will be the location of our asset. Twilio Assets is a static file hosting service and it is where the MP3 that we're going to record is going to live. Let's go back to our console and now we're gonna get into the assets location. So find the place where it says explore products, click on that. And when that comes up, we're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where we see it says assets. Right here, that's a beta service, but we're gonna go ahead and click on this. In the assets section, we wanna click on assets classic right here. In classic assets, we want to click on add an asset and that will bring up the location of where we want to upload our file, our MP3 file from. So I'm gonna click here and I'll click on new recording. And then it brings up the confirmation screen and we want to upload this. So I'll click there. This will take a few seconds to deploy. We've got our asset, we've got everything the way that we want. However, we need to go back to our code and there are four things that we need to update here. We need to change our account SID, our auth token, and inside of our client, we need to change the URL the two number or the number that we want our message to go to, our call to go to, and the number that it is coming from. So I'm gonna go back to my console and on, I'm gonna click here on console for voice test. This will take me home to the console screen. Once I'm on the console home, home screen, I'm gonna copy this account SID and I will paste this right here. I'll make sure to put that inside of quotes because it is a text string. That's one thing. Then I need to grab my auth token. Never, ever, ever share your auth token with anyone for any reason, but I'm going to delete this uh, in just a, a minute here, so it doesn't really matter in this case. Get rid of this import OS line because we're not using environment variables. I'm going to get my Twilio phone number. That's the number that we will be sending our call from. Paste that there. Make sure all of these items are inside of quotes because they are all text strings. Then we need the number that it is gonna go to and I'm gonna send this to my cell phone. And the final thing is that we need our asset. Back in assets, we can see that we have our 
URL path. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that inside of the URL in the client code right there. Now all we have to do is execute this code. You have a trial account. You can remove this message at any time by upgrading to a full account. Press any key to execute your code. This is a test message. This is only a test message. If it were an actual message, it would be much more interesting. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Uh, very simple, Twilio makes it uh, very, very easy to send a, a voice call with a recorded message. Uh, so I hope you've learned something, I hope this helps. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, if you have any comments or feedback, I would love to hear about it in the chat below. So leave any questions, comments, or concerns that you have, and I'll talk to you soon.